Now, I ain't no shrink, but I don't shrink away from no challenge neither. What's your prediction for the fight then? Prediction? Yes, prediction. Pain. Um, uh, unless you do it right. Let's learn how to surgically extract upper premolar 4. You know what I'm gonna put in the tank? I'm gonna fill it up with motivation. And if you forgot where upper premolar 4 is, it's this one. Or this one. First, you have to anesthetize the animal. Um, duh. Then you've got to do the dental procedure, and the doctor will decide which tooth is a candidate for tooth extraction. Now let's go back to the upper fourth premolar. So, as a general rule with any teeth, don't start yanking on the teeth with the Yankee tools. Start with the dental elevators first. And for those that use the pliers first... I pity the fool, and I will destroy any man who tries to take what I got. Well, thank you, Mr. T. Hey. Um, uh, okay, okay, Mr. T, we get it. Elevate first, not pull. Since upper premolar 4 has three roots, we're going to use the drill. So that means more tools! Yay! So pick up your periosteal elevator, and then you go and make this uh, motion right there. Yeah, yeah. expose the bone. Then you take a drill and cut away the bone of the maxilla to expose the root. Like so. Then you section the tooth into a T-shape. But I pity the fool. Then treat each individual root section as a tooth itself. Remember, elevate first, not pull. Put the dental elevator either on the distal aspect or the mesial aspect of the tooth. Then you rotate the tool until the pressure breaks the periodontal ligament. It is recommended to rotate the tool for at least 10 seconds. Then you yank that son of a beep out. Pain. But I pity the fool. Don't use a dental excavator. To clean out the socket where the tooth was extracted. To make sure that there are no toothy remnants left. Then you suture up the gums and you're good to go. And always use absorbable sutures. It's just easier. Otherwise. Pain. 